Hello wherever and whenever you are, and welcome back to Phoenix Iwaki. Welcome back to the Underdark, and welcome back to Out of the Abyss. A new overlay here, because we've shifted some things around, because... New friend! Hello, Lexi! <laughs> Hello, hello. Hey. Nice to see you guys. Yeah, it's good to have you. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, everyone in chat, please say a big hi, hello. And let those phoenixes fly if you have got them. Um, as we have our friend Lexi, who, those of you who joined us for the fabulous Demethrin 5 campaign over on Quest Junkies UK will recognize um, as my... Um, actually, um, Corbin, have a confession. Uh-oh. Lexi is my other sibling player friend. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. I, I, I feel uh, maybe I should have discussed this earlier. <laughs> yes. Are you the drama? Top ten anime are betrayals. Cheating on your, are you cheating on your siblings, dun, 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 John? Dun, hey. I don't. I, I, I think it's you know I think sibling siblinghood comes in or in a fairly like poly. <laughs> poly okay way. I think my my four well, children. What is a family if not a poly heel? <laughs> that credit where credits due. <laughs> Asia, welcome in everybody. Don't Hope you're doing well. Thanks for joining us. I like we've we've fair, got fair. sibling cheating and M prank like already. We've been on this for fifteen minutes. <laughs> 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 fight, fight, fight. Hi Sorry. friends, welcome to Out of the Abyss. <laughs> Here we are. Here we. I'm are. being held against my will. <laughs> no, no, only, that's only Mike. That's only Mike. Okay, yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> welcome everybody, and <laughs> welcome to Lex. It's pleasure to have you here. Um, played together as a people, but first time on the, the channel. Um, now, Grim, I assume that is a spin of the wheel for our new friend over here. You best believe. Right. Nothing else would make sense. Spin. spin! The music is in no way indicative of what the wheel will bring. In, as it wants. Um, until the next long rest, Anastasia, you are whoops all charisma. You may <gasps> make a note. <laughs> make a note of your actual charisma and change it to twenty. <laughs> um, the character sheet is just is just editable in roll twenty there. If you wanna, yeah. Just click on that there. All right. Okay. So, <laughs> thank you. What a, a way to start. <laughs> Um, Artimitating life. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so a huge, huge thank you to all of the wonderful people that support us. You will see the details of them coming through chat on occasion. Please support them if you want cool stuff in your games too. And to say thank you for all the support they give us. And those, some of you have already seen um, that the fabulous CZRPG is sponsoring our giveaway this week with their brand new um, one shot location. Um, to drop into your campaigns or play as a one-shot the Forgotten Citadel awesome encounter design beautiful maps as always and one of you lucky folks can have your chance to grab that exclamation mark enter in the chat for your chance to win and we'll draw the winner at the end if you need to lurk that's fine just be connected to the chat um, for your chance to win and we will see who that is at the end in a couple of hours right last time we were here in the Underdark our adventurers have found themselves in the trading post Mantle Dareth, where the four factions, the Zentarum, the Drow, the Durga Underdark Dwarves, and the Sferf Neblin Underdark Gnomes, each had their own trading enclaves with a communal marketplace in the center. Kalo spent a good deal of time here as Zakan had rescued them in their flight from Menzo Baranzen and brought them here, as well as Kalo's father, Rufus, who we met last time. But when they returned here from the surface, all was not as normal as the entire outpost had been thrown into turmoil as a crystal seems to be causing all of the problems here in this outpost. A mysterious dark crystal that had started off in the hands of a Sferf Neblin wizard um, as a another um, another Surf Neblin um, ale merchant had found it and tried to sell it or had it valued by her. She lied, saying it was worthless and offered a chunk of gold for it, but the ale merchant was having none of it. And when he demanded its return, she refused. And as they battled each other, um, the Surf Neblin wizard's apprentice 
snuck it away, knowing in their mind that's what they, their wizard teacher would want them to do, but fearing um, consequences and being told that they were doing the wrong thing, they were terrified and darted off into the outpost. The Duragar Ale Merchant, sorry, it wasn't Swerf Nevelin, the Duragar Ale Merchant um, grabbed the Swerf Nevelin wizard and hauled them off, and the other Duragar all started to lay siege to the Swerf Nebelin uh, warehouse, insisting that somewhere inside there was their property, this, this crystal. Um, and our players arrived as the Duragar were trying to batter down the door and grab the Swerf Nebelin so that they could ransom them back to their city of Blingdenstone. Um, but they moved to the north, Kalo concerned for his father's safety, towards the Drow Enclave, and there they found Rufus, safe and sound, kicking his heels underneath the large mushroom pavilion that the drow have there. And as they got closer and were talking with Rufus, one of the Svrfnablin, the apprentice of the wizard, came scuttling over, saying that they had lost the crystal. They'd attempted to go outside to one of the beaches on the shores of the Dark Lake outside the um, outside the outpost, but as they had ent um, exited there, they had been set upon by a vicious um, a vicious uh, uh, quagoth. Oh, I'm trying to remember the creature name there. <laughs> by a vicious quagoth and their reluctant human prisoner. This quagoth was the one that our adventurers had known and been travelling with, one Prince Derendil, who seemed to have been tricked and um, hoodwinked by the uh, evil demon lord of lies, Fraza Blue, and had been made to think that they were an elven prince polymorphed into a Quagoth. They thought that too, and they took them to the elven prince's alleged home, the forest elves up near the Spine of the World Mountains. There they discovered the real Prince Derendil and um, had some problems there. Confronted with this reality, the Quagoth kidnapped one of their friends, Esmeralda, um, a member of the um, Green Dagger Bandits and Outlaws, and brought her down here towards this um, outpost. Um, and the real Prince Derodil tracked them here, but then was driven away by drow scouts from the outpost, and they met them back on the surface, but were told where Esmeralda was and had come down here. Prince Derendil, in inverted commas, and Esmeralda had grabbed the crystal from the poor little Sverfnebelin apprentice and it had had its effect on them as well. Esmeralda thought she was a ranger, a, a, an agent of the Harpers who had been searching for Mental Dareth for years in the Underdark, unable to find it, but she was camped out there and our adventurers here were able to convince her and return her to her normal self and she remembered everything and flinging her arms around her longtime companion they decided that they needed to return and our friend Elora Illustris the dwarven royalty reluctant royalty left with Esmeralda and some of the Zentarum agents on their return journey towards the surface that Esmeralda could be returned home, with Elora Illustris promising that if she could, she would be back to help them in their struggles against the abyssal incursion that is rising up from the depths of the Underdark and has been clearly evidenced in their time here. They also heard from this apprentice that the duel had continued its journey as, as the... Um, Quagoth and Esmeralda had tried to steal it, a gargoyle had swept in and grabbed it for itself and gone flapping off with it. Now, they saw that that gargoyle was lurking near the Zentarum um, warehouse, but that is as far as they know that had gone. Now, we return as our three adventurers, Corbin, Zakarn, and Kalo, Return to the interior of Metal Earth. And Anastasia. Oh, Rishi, thank you so much, my friend. Anastasia will appear stage somewhere very, very soon. 
stage left, right, and all between. <laughs> Thank you so much, uh, Rishi. Is that a spin for each of us? <laughs> I think it might. Yes, indeed. Let us quickly do that before we jump back in. Another spin for you, Anastasia. <laughs> here it comes, here it comes. Thank you, Rishi. I hate it here. <laughs> What's it gonna be? Ooh. Anastasia, wherever you wherever you are within an Untled Earth, um a moat of light is dancing about you as you as you leaf through this strange tome that you had oh, uh, good. purloined from elsewhere. <laughs> And this little mode right of light, it. should you That's choose to use it, you. at some point before the long rest, the next coming long rest, you may give yourself the equivalent of a short rest. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Kalo, coming at you. Da, 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 da. Also, accompanied by one of those modes of light, you may also take a short rest if you feel the need, sir. Zakan. Grandma extraordinaire. <laughs> oh dear. This is going to be trouble. Oops. Oh, no. All wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> For the cleric. Damn it. <laughs> and Coven. Coming at you, coming at you, coming at you. <laughs> Grow a size. Oh no. Swalbin has returned. It's time. <laughs> um, Anastasia, as you would know in your time in the in the Underdark, there are pockets of a magical force known as Phasres. Um The drow like to build their cities upon it so that their casters can take advantage of it. And it has unexpected results sometimes. <laughs> Let us say. Okay, thank you everybody. So, let us return to the map. Return to you, fine folks. Are we resetting our other oops alls? Uh, not before? yet. No, you haven't had a long rest. Oh my! Yeah, they reset all long <laughs> rests these days. It's it's it's, a, it's me trying to force myself to move yeah. sessions along faster. <laughs> the cons approaching a, a royal flush here. Oh shit! <laughs> oh my! Okay. Um. Just a moment, folks. Let's let this. Roll20 pop in here. Actually, let me pop Anastasia in here as well. Boop. Oh, I forgot I'm so much bigger. Yes, also. <laughs> Grow in a size. Or two. <laughs> um, Anastasia, you are here. On roll20. If you want to zoom in there. Everyone else, you are back on the bottom left corner. If you want to head over there. And we shall join you. Wow, all the Jurga. Oops, all Jurga. <laughs> oh, look at little, little Zakan in Kalo's pocket. <laughs> um, Anastasia, it could be worse. Kalo has grown two sizes. He is now huge <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> it's like full on Attack on Titan stuff. It's like. <laughs> okay, so. Stops. Go ahead. Go ahead. Over to the three of you. Zakan, stop squirming around so much. I'm going to hit the stalactites like that. It's not our fault that you're gigantic. <laughs> oh, um, have you noticed my gains? Sorry, Vance, can you bring the mic over your computer again? Off to, off to the side yes. doesn't catch you. <laughs> just have it in front of you. No, it's fine. Is that better? Yeah. Or just be like, like out the, outside of your mouth all the time. <laughs> hey, no, it's fine. Hey. This is just the new <laughs> ASMR of the Abyss. <laughs> Featuring Corbin. <laughs> Welcome. Awesome. Thank you, thank you. Okay. So, sorry, Kayla, I interrupted. You are all kosher. I just want to make a cute little uh, Zakan is in my pocket joke. <laughs> we have established. <laughs> oh, man, that means I'm just going to be, like, directly medium. Do, do we know when the magic surge is going to happen? You're just going to tell us when it happens? Um, when we enter initiative. We, okay. <laughs> um, don't, don't you have you still... have two, actually, don't you? Did we use one of them? Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's yeah, one. so one more itself is set off. Okay, I think the... Was it the monk one or the druid one that we used? Last time, we yeah. did... Uh... 
Splash. Druid, so it's monk time. Okay, thank you. <laughs> monk time. <laughs> Stop. Monk time. Okay. So. After watching Elora's boat disappear across the dark lake, the three of you return towards the interior. Corbin, are you still Laura? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah! I had changed it to Laura. Um, no, it's just sad if I am. I just like slowly her features start becoming mine again. Just like as we're walking, they just slowly stop. Like my ears just like go down from being pointed and like. My everything like builds out a little bit more because I was taller than Alora by a little bit. <laughs> I mean, if you want to talk about it, Corbin, now's the time. Talk about what? What right do I have to talk about anybody leaving? It just keeps happening. That's all. Every time I blink too hard, Zakan's drifting off into another goddamn dimension. <laughs> you popped up out of nowhere. And now, Alora, uh, rightfully so. It, it, this, this is what I'm talking about. There's no reason for me to say that I'm sad that my friends keep blinking out of existence. Because they always have a right to do so. I just sound selfish. I don't want to sound selfish. It's not selfish. You miss them. There's nothing selfish about that. Mm, what you're saying probably makes sense. <laughs> Damn you. <laughs> Logic from the little brother. Fuck. Right. I mean, you're, just, you're beaming up to get get molly whopped, homie, if you keep talking <laughs> sense to me. <laughs> oh, I look forward to it. You'll hit my kneecap, though. Just a fair warning. Yeah, to you. Someone call an ambulance, but not for me. Not for me. <laughs> <laughs> Just take out your. I will take out your caps. Like ten, ten swift nebulin with an oversized stretcher coming. Me, ma, me, ma, me, ma. Webster just wraps you up in a cocoon and drags you. Me, me, me. I'm like off screen. Little light spell on his head. Yeah, it's just no look at my little spores. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> so, Khan, you've traveled with Alora the longest. You seemed a little quiet there. Is there. Are you just repressing, or do you feel the same way? Okay, Dr. Kalo. <laughs> <laughs> he says see, as he yeah. pulls his pocket open to talk to us again. <laughs> Buddy. <laughs> you okay in there? <laughs> Meeting with your father has made you rather introspective, hasn't it? Right? Project. Well, to confess, he was very sick when I left him, and this whole thing has been unusual. So, frankly, between what Frazal Blue has been doing to everyone and um, what's happened to my home, all I have left is to think about these thoughts. Don't take that too far That's... in context. Let's. <laughs> You're the one setting this up, and you don't want us to take things out of context. <laughs> um, to answer your question, it feels natural to me that Alora would leave. In fact, it's spending so much time with the same people back and forth like this that's strange to me. know if that hurt my feelings or not <laughs> it's not unpleasant it's just new and when you get to an age like mine you don't experience many new things <laughs> surprise <And Corbin's laughs> like, surprise <Sean. laughs> a never-ending parade of new things you have to admit it one day we're going to run off and become a circus. Not go to a circus. We're just going to become a circus. What is a circus? <laughs> oh my 
God. I, okay, so the group, and this is like a walk and talk kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> making our way back. Was like describing a group of reformers that came to the monastery once when they were traveling through. Uh, so they but, let the buns. Sorry, you're gonna hate me, but you're really quiet. <laughs> sorry. I don't want to be quiet. No, okay, this is better. This, this, this is better for us. Yes, I'm not sure it's better for you though. <laughs> no, it's fine. I just feel I just feel like feel bad. My mic is in camera. That's I feel fine. like it's a boom mic. Like it's not supposed to. Be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. Hey, solidarity. Great, <laughs> great. I feel better. It, now. it makes you look like a disc jock. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> But uh, they are definitely describing about a time a group of performers came through uh, when they were just traveling through the um, through the area. And so the like the grouping of them, the monastery decided to let you. Yeah, you could stay here. Um, you don't have to pay or anything. Just entertain us while we make dinner. And so they got to see acrobats, uh, like acrobatic things. And one of them tried to go through the uh, the 12 different things that you have to to become a monk there's 12 rooms they're like oh uh -oh. i totally got this he did not have this <laughs> they did not make it through all of them chambers and it was it was it was kind of bad but not like the story starts dwindling off and then they're let i mean so the chambers are really hard and let's just say that they were not accepted into the monastery that night <laughs> but Indeed. it's fine it, 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 it's fine. They got a cool glass leg now. <laughs> I think that's the takeaway here. Hooray. Yeah. I'm surprised they have so much trouble given they swallow swords and breathe fire and things like that. They sound quite formidable. I know no one ever expects for the sand to get hot enough to start melting around your feet. Catches everyone off guard. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but you know, glass foot. So that's cool. <laughs> you guys want to make your way back to the trench? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, we were just going to stay here. I, I don't know oh, what you're dude. talking about. <laughs> it's a bottle episode. Michael, Michael, we have company. <laughs> we? Get, the get the fancy dice. We have company. <laughs> Break it the I fancy dice. can stay here and listen to us talk about a circus for another 20 minutes. <laughs> Ooh, sparkles. The sparkles. Kayla only just fits back into the chasm. <laughs> I cannot wait to sleep and get this freaking nightmare. Uh, watch the stalactites by the boom. <laughs> you keep telling us to watch stuff. You realize how high those are for Zakan. <laughs> Technically, he's getting the crumbs. Nice to be back in my normal body. Although, I have to admit, I feel quite powerful. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's just. It's the same. It's the same wisdom and everything, just condensed. This is concentrated. Yeah. <laughs> You're so spry suddenly. This is mad. <laughs> okay, so you make your way back through the passageway, the secret door into the passageway, and then back into the ravine that runs the length of the outpost, using the uh, mechanical lifts and winches you raise back up onto the upper surface are you going to go back through the zentarum or are you going to bypass it and go back straight to the drow well Would we've be. already had our interactions with the drow now would probably be the best time to go ahead and go to the zentarum unless you wanted to check out anything else Kayla. actually no the zentarum's a good idea um kenny's talking to them I really do need to get her out of trouble. <laughs> right, so, um, and... What about you for Zakan? Does Zakan have anything? Well, so long as it involves sitting and talking and no more excitement, then yes, I think we should find out what oh, Corbin they know about laughing. Graven Hollow. <laughs> Corbin just starts laughing. Like, why would you try to make me promise such impossible things? Like, as they're like climbing up out the things of you <laughs> on the way to this time. Like, that's just mean. <laughs> um, Anastasia, I'm going to pop you over here. To, to everyone involved, why would you have me say that? That's a lie. I don't have the energy of you younger folks anymore, and I did just uh, combat a. Demon Lord's curse. 
this is fair. Do you really think we're not going to get in trouble? So long as we are polite to our Zentarum hosts, then yes, I very much hope so. Always polite to their faces. <laughs> and you vastly underestimate the strength of your voice and how far it carries. What? <laughs> <laughs> Echoes down the chasm. <laughs> you great. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, this stone giant library, this graven hollow, should find out what they know about it. Okay, I, I will actually try. I, I promise okay. I will actually try. You like books? Yes. You're able to read? I'm mad it was a question, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well then, politeness all around. It's the excitement of, of knowledge. Listen, Corbin, if there's one book you just need to read, it's The Room, and I promise you everything else will come from there. <laughs> Sound real indoctrinated there, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, uh, the three of you better mix. Climb up. I think um, Kalo just like steps up onto the top of the ravine. <laughs> I was going to say, it's just like. <laughs> just mad mantle shelf up there, yeah. Hopping up a curb. <laughs> And uh, yeah, make you want to make your way over to the uh, Zentarum encampment here. Now, as the three of you arrive there, next to that uh, ornamental fungal grove there, um, you see someone that you haven't seen before. Anastasia. Would you like to describe <laughs> what they see? Um, you're going to see someone who's about five, six, five, seven, roughly. You assume human. Until you look a little longer, and she she looks a little off. Her her skin looks like it's almost moving, almost like smoke. She has long, long to like her knees, black hair, a few streaks of white, and her eyes are just black. She has bits of bones and many many satchels and bags and bottles all around it's not just like around her hips just you know, on her shoulders just anywhere you could possibly add something she's covered in them and in her hands she's looking at a very a book that looks too big for her looks like it was made for a, a taller bigger beast and she's reading it just and as you <coughs> excuse me as you're reading it you're also glancing up to the uh, northern end of the um, chamber there, um, interestedly looking at a gargoyle which is perched up on the side of the cavern that you can see. Now, Anastasia, you know this to be one of the drow gargoyles which guard their warehouse, and it has no business being over here. The three of you see Anastasia. See, there's someone who enjoys a good book. I can't believe this conversation went literal. Um, <laughs> Corbin Zakan, a, a friend of yours. Oh, every interesting person that that, that we happen across. <laughs> I'd like to. But <laughs> you use Zakan? I look back because Zakan has so many people. <laughs> Hold on, Zakan. Let me just get you out of here real quick, and just put Zakan back down on the ground. Pat themselves off. There's a lot of, a lot of detritus inside that pocket. <laughs> I I have to clean it. It's really bad. Yeah. Do um do do I recognize this this individual? Hmm. Roll me, Ooh. roll me a history check. Let's see. Intelligence is not the strong suit here. And, uh, yeah, that's <laughs> that's going to be um, a two. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you do not. <laughs> it's a two, two plus zero. <laughs> Excellent. 
kind of just shrugs their small shoulders and says, no. I don't know everyone in the Underdark, despite what some people may think. I kept to myself when I wasn't rescuing wayward travelers. That's what I mean. Anastasia, you see a gigantic drow. <laughs> it's the biggest one you've ever seen. Um, a, a, swerf, a swerf neblin in a mask and a hooded large individual. I forgot to do your token there, Corbin, sorry. I thought it was happening to an initiative. Um, so the wild magic happens as an initiative. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, so it happens. So you got like you got like some nesting nesting dolls here. Right here, large, small, medium, and large adventurer. Please choose which one would you? <laughs> and the little swift neblin in the mask's porridge was just right. Right. <laughs> little goldies. Is, um, is this person wearing any um, Zentarum stuff? They are not. I'm oh, sorry, Bets. No, no, you're fine, you're fine. You were asking if you were asking questions. I was just making sure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, One well, of those well, is way more important. <laughs> I think in the giant form, we'll just bend down one knee. Uh, sorry, friend. Oh, ah! I didn't catch you the first <laughs> uh, No, I know. I promise you this is temporary. I promise you this is temporary. Uh, trust them. Um, you wouldn't happen to be our Zentarum contact would you i have no idea what that is no fair and corbin like has not really come into much like realization how big they are now it's, just, it's not that much bigger <laughs> so, so, they, so they come around the corner like yeah calm down big guy like they're not like six something <laughs> <laughs> uh and they still don't have full control of their tail or their hair. So their their hair normally is close cropped with two like uh, Fulani braids down at the end. But those bitches are moving a lot now <laughs> because of some recent shenanigans. <laughs> and and they just kind of watching them move. Yeah, they're moving. And then there's this tail that looks like it has like a, a, a knife at the end, like a spike end to it, just kind of like doing its own thing. They're like, sorry, I know that's kind of odd. But all this shit isn't happening around them. Um, <laughs> honestly, I just was kind of. What are you reading? Uh, a spell book. It's a. It's my book. It's definitely mine. You can you can get them in books. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, how I did it. In tone. Books. I thought it was weird things. Like you were down here long enough, you probably absorbed all the magic. They are fully. That is what they, that's how they believe you have magic. <laughs> you've just been down in the Underdark so long that you've absorbed magic. And, oh, no. And then I, and didn't then I have this weird, my key was infected when I merged with the Underdark. I didn't even so, know they could do that. I know. I just, I know I have like, I know I have energy abilities, but now it, like I can make my spit acid. <laughs> You're like describing poets. <laughs> they think their magic is their key. I love that. Works. And now they realize you can read and get it. Oh, magic's awesome. Oh yeah, I couldn't do any magic before this book. Then I, I oh, came God. into this, possession of it. Uh, see, the coolest book I have just talks to me. Speaking, I can talk. Can you talk? Speaking of possession, <laughs> I, might, I don't think Mike can talk. Uh, I'll let you talk to mine if I can have one of your spells. <laughs> Which one? Traces? Wait. <laughs> I need all of I thought I, I cautioned feel, I you like against talking the, like, to scoot, that book. Scoot <laughs> good, for, good for the players, Papa. By the way, as you as you were talking there, Papa Papa gave me a spin of the wheel and I got a disadvantage crystal. Oh, <laughs> so you're welcome. Thanks, Papa. <laughs> Thanks, Papa. Papa. <laughs> Corbin, are you still like, talking to that book? Uh, it's not that I'm talking to the book. I'm having polite conversation and asking it questions. It doesn't seem to know anything about it. But you haven't figured out who's on the other side or whether you can trust them or... Careful with it's, that. It's the book. What are you talking about? 
You also don't know if they're a normal being or if they're, you know, you a demon. To talk to the book. A demon? I There's a demon in your book? To the book? There could be. Immediately uh, hands on fire. Blue <laughs> flames. I go like, what? You're gonna set it on fire. And they're talking about, like, your book. Like, <laughs> it's, 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 to it's be fair. Okay. I know how to fix some singed things. Like, I feel like at this point, my charcutio so you just see like <laughs> it's like sticking his head around the corner because you did fire <laughs> so, like we, we have the please please do not get him started I, uh, it's anastasia I, I think whenever they meet new people like the the, the menagerie stays out of sight for a second <laughs> okay. and um but then as as they kind of like conversation goes on for a while this um a small red dragon and a large spider come into view Anastasia is immediately going to want to pet the dragon. <laughs> <laughs> just, just let him sniff her hand. <laughs> you even Do I have to roll for that? <laughs> Do I have to roll like, for that? I'm like trying to peek in your book and you're like trying to get your kiss you. I think Webster, Webster's You enjoying... realize it's a language you can't read. <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> Stop making this book interesting. Um, <laughs> hang on a moment, Anastasia. Um, Corbin, what are your languages? <laughs> just oh, in, ca just oh, in oh, case. Just in case. What are they? I, I will tell you, my languages are common, druidic, dwarvish, gnomish, and undercommon. Oh. Zakan? Celestial, common, and undercommon. Oh. <laughs> Kalo? Uh, the only other one that I would have that might be fun is Elvish and Sylvan. So I doubt that either of them. Mm -hmm. yep, nope. nope. Nobody can read it. <laughs> not, a, not an abyssal in the bunch. <laughs> Wait, Do we're fighting fair, demons and no one, one has a abyssal. Only one of those languages can Zakan read. <laughs> I know. <laughs> that's, that's the book I need to find. I need to find how to speak draconic and how to speak abyssal. Okay, I just need language to common <laughs> dictionary. <laughs> if you've seen abyssal, you can tell it's in abyssal. <laughs> Kato, I, I, I wouldn't say no one has abyssal. <laughs> Now at least. <laughs> Actually, yeah. Could I um? Could I roll something to see if Mr. Khan can at least recognize it as a Bissell? Because um, it's a a professional interest in such things. <laughs> are you are you going to show the book or are you keeping it close to? It's like she's like sort of distracted by like trying to like let the dragon sniff so it's open and just like in front of her but she's not like doing as much to like hide it it's just it's it's in her yeah, hand you're, you're gonna, like, <laughs> sniff sniff and then like yeah. smoke out of the nostril. <laughs> it looks at me like but can I eat them though like intraconic <laughs> can you can you <laughs> intraconic no, she can just get vibes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just that, that evil toddler face that you know, like, you're gonna start some shit. Like, that's kind yeah, of just, like... Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Tab tabatino. No, you cannot. And mm. possible friend. We're still very far. We don't know. Mataru. <laughs> I thought we were getting a roll from Zakan. Ah, uh, no, it was we. Oh, yeah. What are we rolling? What, was the, what are you trying to do? Just see if the text is abyssal or not. Yeah, that's I think... Happen. I think with your particular um, set of skills, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, <laughs> you would you would recognize the way, the way it's written. Hmm. And just raise a hidden non-existent eyebrow at it then <laughs> <laughs> two, two out of the three of us can hear it and go oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> attuned to it <laughs> um just gonna close the book and just keep it at her side and very big straps to keep it on her <laughs> lexi yes, wants uh... I, have, I have some leather if you feel like that would help you strap that on better <laughs> the large right. spider has like little saddlebags on the side. <laughs> so I'm like, I have That's so cute. leather straps if you. It's just, she's just looking if she has room. Just, uh. You sure. Hmm. 
Mm, I don't like it not visible immediately. Oh. I'll, I'll keep it here. <laughs> Appreciate it, though. Did they offer them? Kind of a yeah. Way. Where did you get that book? They were saying something about books. So where did you find that one? Maybe there's another one. Maybe a smaller one. Uh, I, I found it. Just around. Oh. Unguarded. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> Just, just <laughs> <laughs> no. Do I need to roll for this one? Do I need to roll for that? <laughs> yeah, I feel like, I... This is about passive insight. Like, <laughs> Corbin, oh, no, I object to that. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Wait, I, I, I'll object to that. <laughs> so I'm just looking. I'm looking in the uh, Cobalt Press Vault of Magic if there are any suitable grimoires. <laughs> <laughs> What do you say, Kalo? What are you saying? Still talking here. You're just like, no, that makes sense. Kalo does not think that makes sense. <laughs> He's been down here with some abyssal shit. That does not shit. That shit does not make sense. I want to, but you know what? Let's get some insight on this bad boy. I want to see. I want to see if you really did find that book. <laughs> yeah, and then they took it. But first they had yeah, to find I, it. I hope Kalo fucks up reading this very obvious lie. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, I believe you. Um, well, you... uh, good news, Zakan. <laughs> I'm sure it's lying around there somewhere. Uh, lucky you found it. Don't sound right. <laughs> it's either that you or the find, but it ain't the book part. <laughs> <laughs> the zombie house is a missing if they did. We know there's definitely a book involved. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cable just Real there really hard. Up. Laser focus, life is like a hurricane. <laughs> <in the underground. laughs> and it's, it's just gonna like mage hand, like pet the dragon. It's just like, it's like clearly I'm gonna get bit, so just <laughs> <laughs> safe pet. How long have you been here at the uh, um, you know, with these guys? Uh... With these guys. They say clearly trying to not say something insulting about the Centaurum with these fine loans. Like really <laughs> infinite emphasis on loans. <laughs> like this air area? Like this? Uh, oh, how long have I been out? Oh, jeez. You can tell she's genuinely trying to figure out like time as a concept. Uh, she's just, um, I've been here a few days. Uh, okay. Barely. But. Up here is a different story. So you are working with the Zentarum then? I just heard that I could be protected here. Ah. Anastasia, so when you when you address um, Zakan, you look carefully. And you... also down. <laughs> <laughs> just... And down. <laughs> and that mask. You think, you think this is the one that you heard about that was known as Lightbringer? The one that guides people yeah. up and away? I heard that I could be protected here. There was a, a Lightbringer of sorts to get us out and away from here. I've just been trying to hide from some demons and things that don't seem to like that uh i'm around if you are seeking to go to the surface then you have found someone who can help i am the one that some call the light bringer oh good your book nice and close and just <laughs> She's a wizard, if you guys couldn't guess. <laughs> <laughs> you, you mentioned coming up to where we are now. Up from where exactly? From whatever area was down there. It was it was really dark, I couldn't tell. Do we have to roll for that? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I would, I, would, I would like a little bit of insight here. <laughs> I'll, do, I'll do an insight against a persuasion or deception. You're like Max, man. Someone's got to do it. 
I got a 15 for deception. That is a, a 16. In <gasps> <laughs> but grandma seeing through bullshit. Hard. <laughs> I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, because what you said is true. So it wasn't, it wasn't deception. Um, oh, persuasion. Yeah. So, um, Sakan, they're they're telling the truth, but um, they're not giving you all the information. Yeah. Well, which yeah, just met. There's some omission going on in here. <laughs> <laughs> Since we are prying, and none of us have been properly introduced, although I have been called the Lightbringer, my name is Zakan. This is Corbin and Kalo, and we are seeking information uh, on. Hello, pretty lady. <laughs> <laughs> hello, down there. <laughs> Still crouched down. <laughs> Just, just Andre the Giant and Princess Bride. <laughs> yeah, looking for a library so that we can get information about the Abyss and its incursions into the Underdark. Uh, if are you going to familiar, the Abyss? Unfortunately. We may have to. We'll put a stop to it. Good, good eye acting, Lexi. <laughs> so, <laughs> just, mm. The fuck? The yeah. oh, fuck? Like, unfortunately, yes. The, too big of a problem has arrived that not throwing ourselves into unnecessary peril would be bad for the rest of us. Uh, for the greater good. Love yeah. that. <laughs> As... Love the greater good. As you're saying that, um, the tent flaps on that large um, pavilion to the uh, west there um, just burst open, and a drow um, female comes striding out. Uh, is it this one? Hang on. No. Can you yell? Oh, there isn't a token for her, unfortunately. Um, oh. Yes. Yeah. So you're gonna have to make do. Does she look like a bitch? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. No, there was. There was. There we go. There we go. Oh, cool. Haha. -ha. I know, because I knew there was art. I was like, why didn't they make a token? But it was a multi multi-sided. There she is. Um, <clears throat> and a a female drow just bursts out. She's like, oh, how long are we going to have to wait for these fuckers? I'm sick of it. I'm going to get some air. It's oh, such Man, and... I hope we're not the fuckers they're talking about. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll over there. I'm gonna go over to, to Kinyel. And it is Kinyel, yes. And she turns, she's like, Kilo, what in the living fuck has happened to you, darling? If I had an opportunity to tell you all of this, you may be sleeping for the next half of it. And just bend down. There. You have been gone a very long time and lost the right to call me darling a long time ago. So don't don't you look down on me except where physically necessary. <laughs> Unfortunately, it is physically necessary for now. Why have you dragged your sorry ass back here? There's a lot of trouble at home. Dad is in trouble, and I entrusted <laughs> you to his well-being. Entrusted his well-being to me? All that fresh air on the surface has scrambled your brains. Look! He is fine. Have you not seen him? He's in better health than he's ever been. Exactly. This is the problem. He's better than he's ever been. Look. You shouldn't be here. We are about to have some very important negotiations. Falcony, this is exactly why we are here to partake in these important negotiations. Look, we are here to see the Zentarum. 
Soavi? <sighs> well, isn't it my lucky day? So, are you going to wait with us? What exactly are you waiting for from them? We have other business to attend to, but for you, I am quite curious. The business of the drow and Sintana Monclaves are no concern of an outsider like you. Darling, you are scathing me in front of my friends. I'm just getting warmed up. Serva, should have expected. Listen. You can take... You can take the girl out of the matriarchy, but not the matriarchy out of the girl. <laughs> That's if I didn't try. Look. We have business with Shalaxel. The Tarim are here to help us. With that business. Do you show the document? Yes. She looks over. <laughs> I wonder if it's like also like, she's like, like a newspaper. It's like, <laughs> it's like a big Sunday broadsheet. <laughs> I see. It seems genuine. Um, oh, what? Whatever. Look, I'm inside with the chief negotiator at the moment of the Drow Enclave, Sirak. He arrived after you were here. You do not know him. But, um... The Zentarums will be here any moment, I hope. We've been waiting long enough. And we can uh, sort out this whole business. Yeah, I mean... Are you here to make problems? This is my home too. Any problems that I would make, I would make with you. But for now, I am here to resolve them. Right. Well, why don't you have your friends join us inside? Are you going to play nice? Sure, why not? Try anything once. <laughs> we'll talk later. And um, he'll switch back to normal Kayla voice and come back to the group. Bye, darling. Uh -huh. bend down to the rest of the group well good news um looks like the drow are already in negotiations with the zentarum so we may be working on equal grounds with both enclaves um the bad news is my ex is here <laughs> oh x what <laughs> oh sweetheart <laughs> Zakan, we can talk about my past relationships later, but we have the contract from Jalaxel. Let's go in there, let's play nice, and try not to start another enclave war like the damn Jurigar did. Ma, please don't ask me about my exes. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma, stop. Grandma, stop. <laughs> Robin Pilgrim. Oh, seems nice. Who was that? Grandma, please. <laughs> Grandma. <laughs> You've been seeing that girl lately? She seems sweet. Grandma. Invite her to dinner. <laughs> Invite her to the negotiations. It'll be fun. <laughs> you, didn't, uh, you didn't mention any girls last time I saw you. <laughs> Grandma, that was 20 years ago. <laughs> Grandma, <laughs> so was a child. I was seven. 
<laughs> I make no promises to play nice, but you you may. Oh, they're can I can we keep them? I like them. <laughs> <laughs> Now, if something happens, it won't just be my fault. I'm just gonna. Stay next to you. <laughs> like, I mean, like they legitimately turn next. Like I'm just gonna stay next to you. <laughs> She's like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like fine. I can't wait until the moment. A moment's gonna happen where you're gonna look over and you're just gonna see Corbin on top of Webster. <laughs> Up onto the ceiling. <laughs> Don't question it. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Amara. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, here we go. I was just, uh, here I was, we go. I was just trying to remind myself if I had a token on that. Sorry. Oh okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Don't do that to me. I've already put a set. Of bringing sexy back aggressively starts playing in the background already, okay? <laughs> already. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh yeah, Anastasia's got like huge mommy milkers too. <laughs> this is an important character detail. <laughs> Forgot <laughs> to mention. <laughs> it's for days. <laughs> Not it. <laughs> Welcome to the horny episode chat. <laughs> you sure are talking horny for someone within bonking distance? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's get this thing Why back on track. I'm going to game. Why would you do this? <laughs> so we go into the tent. Oh, <laughs> We're back on course. It's an, it's an, I'm, glad I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. Anastasia goes in the tent, and her ass comes in five minutes later. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Beauregard. Um, now, Corbin, Corbin you, you won't fit. <laughs> oh, not Corbin, sorry. Kano, you won't fit, I'm afraid. <laughs> I'll peek an eye and... <laughs> <laughs> Just uh, get things set up here. Um, okay, so you follow after where... <laughs> Thank you, Rishi, for the clip. <laughs> I dread to think which part it was. <laughs> um, okay, so Amara, Amara, no, who's Amara? Anastasia, you're there, and let's put you there. Uh, Corbin, kind <laughs> of there. Okay, hello. Corbin Dallas. <laughs> Lurking now in the my back. Next animal companion has to be named Lily. <laughs> <gasps> nice. I have her multi pass in my wallet. Like, <laughs> I love it. That <laughs> it was all of it. Oh, good. <laughs> okay, so um, you um, enter into the pavilion, and you see three other drow in there. Um, let me pop them up onto the proper layer there. Boop. Two, um, two elite warriors and the head negotiator um, of the drow enclave, a figure known as um, sorry, over there, um, Sirek Mazelon. And he turns. <clears throat> Kia, what is the meaning of this? I'm sorry. Look what's the displace the beast dragged in. Who is it? Ah, it is a little consequence. A minor son of a minor house. No longer Aye. on the Mensa Baranzan scene. Forced to flee with his kleptomaniac father. <laughs> Corbin's hair goes, huh? <laughs> <laughs> like, Buddy! <I've> <laughs> um, I think that 
the drow outside of Menzo Baranzin would be looking for whatever alliances they can get, given that the Spider Queen is turning on them. <laughs> Where have you had such nonsense? Anyway, it is of no concern of us with break and death. As long as the trade is flowing. His eyes are orange. The trade must flow. <laughs> <laughs> um, and he's like, oh, well, these negotiations are no business of yours. Get out. Literally our business, and you probably couldn't start them until we showed up. I do not think so. Look. He looks shrewdly at you. Rolls dice. Roll for disrespect. <laughs> Roll, for disrespect. <laughs> Roll for disrespect. He comes. He comes over and pops. You know, takes a knee next to you, Zakan. <laughs> One so low, holding such high respect. What is your investment in the current situation here? How would you see it play out? Does it come? Hold on, I think my internet is being very bad. Can you hear me? Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I didn't hear any of that. I did see oh, your wow. lips moving. But... <laughs> <laughs> then read the lips, God. <laughs> um, he asked. He asked you, "What's what's your take on the situation here? How would you how would you want it to play out? The current conflict, mm. like between the the factions? Yeah. If I'm being perfectly honest, what's happening between the Svef Neblin and the Druagar of Mantle Dareth is of very little concern compared to the larger threats that loom beneath us all. So you do not mind? Is what I'm hearing? You're good local, either way? With your local politics, I would prefer that no unnecessary blood is shed. I'd prefer that oh. this attention is being paid elsewhere. If we're killing each other, then None shall That's be, less to fight. None shall be spilt by us. Um, then perhaps you will not cause any trouble. We are here to make an arrangement with the Zentarum. That once the Durgar and Swerf Neblin have worn each other out and destroyed all of their holdings here, we shall be left in church. Are you really scraping for power that much since getting kicked out of Manzo Branson? <laughs> Brigand Death was not kicked out of Menzo Branson. We defied the matron mothers and left on our own. We do not need A noble story. any diminutive guides to show us the way to go forward. In either case, if you are looking to expand your power within one trading post, it's of little concern to me, so long as you're not looking to harm any innocence. But it'll mean very, very little if we don't join together against the rising abyssal influence and you say that you don't know about the spider queen and but surely you felt a change in the underdark there have been some uh, unfortunate incidents bad for business patrols attacked by spiders by any chance mm, not ours but no worse than spiders And before you ask, no, 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 your quarrels either. Those are the, the demons of the Spider Queen. <laughs> you, wizard, 
Why have you thrown your lot in with this? You've been hanging around the place for the last couple of days. Yeah, I'm trying to get out of here. Get as far north, <laughs> technically, as possible. Hmm. Well, you have chosen yourself an interesting group of fellows. <laughs> Interesting's better than bad. Oh, Rishi, my cousins are Welsh. <laughs> <laughs> Rishi, no. <laughs> Rishi, yes. Well, my aunt is Welsh, I guess, so my cousins are half. <laughs> well. <sighs> Safe journey. Ah. He turns to the north, and you can hear the heavy doors of the warehouse beyond opening, and the guards acknowledging people coming out, and the flaps of the pavilion at the north end are pushed open, and um, you see a rather flamboyant-looking fellow um, come striding in, um, let me grab his art, because it's awesome. Um, Gazrim. Speaking of uh, flamboyant, um, motioning to Kalo. Kalo, would you care to um, present our letter from our mutual friend with these Brigandereth comrades of ours? Yes, we should also save it for the Zantarum. They should have the next piece of this puzzle, the key to the Stone Giant Library. So we have to make sure we get it back. And he'll just kind of peek his face in, because it's, I think, the best he can do, given the tense circumstance. Sirak, you bastard. We're here on a mission bigger than you. And he'll slide the note to Sirak. He just waves it away. He's left to wait. We have a meeting. And <laughs> the head negotiator for the Zentarum, Gazrim Duloc, arrives. Here he is. Well, well, well. What do we have here? A motley crew. Zarek, are you uh, are you outsourcing these days? You got yourself some uh, Got yourself some muscle. He looks at the large dri uh, large monk. <laughs> Corbin looming in the side of the tent there. Now. And as you see this fellow stride in, hovering behind him is a slightly worse for wear looking, slightly injured beholder. And, and also a group of Zentarum heavies six of them to be exact including one of them um, I shall use the heart icon because Corbin loves them <laughs> um, including Amara so Gazrim swaggers forward. Now then, are we uh, ready to do some business here, or uh, are we entertaining on a different level here? Sirak, who is this lot? I was asking the same question myself, but it seems that they are uh, to meet with you as well. Oh, I don't. <laughs> He's loving when the DM's just RPing with himself. <laughs> 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 oh, I don't know. I haven't heard nothing, but... Um, Corbin... Amara throws you kind of a questioning glance. <laughs> very, very subtle. Um, Anastasia, did you see that uh, handout? This is this is Amara. On roll 20 there. But she's she's wearing 
kind of the same armor and stuff as the other Zentarum. Well then, no arm, no foul, eh? So, shall we uh, get down to business? And he strides forward um, to talk with Sarik. And the beholder just floats through the air. And Anastasia. This figure that's diff slightly seems slightly different to the others in Tarim, but is definitely with them, um, steps forward. And this time, she doesn't make eye contact with Corbin, but she makes eye contact with you, and she nods. And she nods knowingly, and she, hmm, let's think, yeah, I'd say, because she's made eye contact with you and you're kind of focusing on her, you, you, you see, see what's going on here, she starts to draw a weapon. And, and you have the chance to do one thing before she she does. <laughs> She's an hydrate. She's... Hydrate. Shield. <laughs> okay. Do you cast shield on yourself? <laughs> yep. Okay. Um, so. Corbin. Caleb. Zaka. The pavilion quickly descends into chaos as Corbin, for some reason, the childhood monastery friend, monasterial? Is that... <laughs> friend <laughs> friend of yours, right? <laughs> Amara suddenly draws their weapon and says... I shall complete the contract and just stabs it into the beholder. <laughs> and oh. the beholder is surprised. <laughs> oh no! So I'm going to make an attack <laughs> with advantage there. Please no. Oh yes. Um, if I can grab the uh, stat block here. There we go. Oh, magic sirs! <laughs> Let's go. Um, da -da 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 -da. Oh, good, she's got multi-attack. Oh, I can't see. Okay, well, <laughs> same numbers twice. Um, what's our AC here? Beholder? Oh, wow, okay. Um, she's just like, I will complete the contract. And she just pulls out the mace that all these Zentarum thugs are carrying and just slams it into the fleshy um, side of the Beholder. But the Beholder's kind of aged, tough skin seems to resist the damage. She just didn't manage to, manage to hit it either time. <laughs> and it just, nice. it just turns like, what? What's going on? Ah, Kazrim, betrayal! He's like, oh. Perhaps not such innocent friends after all. What are you doing, Sarik? And blades are drawn all around. Now, if you want to engage with this in a violent way, we can roll initiative. Or if you choose to just like GTFO and you know let whatever's <laughs> happening run its course, um, we don't have to. Uh. I actually wanted to do something to Amara that would not yeah, involve you and me violence. Yeah, have the same idea. I wanted to tackle her. 
Okay. Oh, I was just gonna <laughs> cast. Uh, you can save that. I'm gonna cast commands. Oh, I was gonna try to talk to her. <laughs> we can, we can, we can make her talk. We can make her talk with command. <laughs> John, could, could you, you need to make talk? I mean, you know, childhood friend of no, Colvin. No, no, basically, I wanted to just, just for honesty, just go and try to tackle her. And while I was gra grappling her, I go, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Woman. <laughs> um, <laughs> still do that. Still okay, do that. Well, but... both of you, both of you are on the ship. See who goes quick. Who's faster? Basically, yeah, yeah, faster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Kalo dice, don't fuck me now. Right, come on, Corbin Dice. Cool. Right in the booty. John, that is a <laughs> Reese 20. Ooh. Okay, I rolled a 16. Initiative is only plus two. Oh. Ooh. Okay, so Kalo, Kalo is a little faster. Just a smidge. John, could you it's, make. It's the size. It's the size. Yeah, it has to be. They have longer legs. <laughs> Just like poke <laughs> the fingers in. Got long, got legs. Of course, Baron, always. Um. Um, Go on, what would you? Yes. Can you make me, for Amara, a Wisdom 15 save? Wisdom 15. That I can try, certainly. Um, that is going to be a 21. Corbin, I they fucked up. It's on you. <laughs> <laughs> right, right after they feel like this surge of magic trying to take them over and they break free, and then it's just Corbin. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Suddenly, uh, Corbin. So Corbin, yeah, you you are you gonna shove like shove the beholder aside and, and try and grapple? <laughs> I'm sorry, but the the vision of just like smushing them. <laughs> Hilarious. Give me give me an athletics check. I cast banishment. <laughs> oh god. <All> right. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> uh, um, it, it, just athletics period. Yes. <laughs> okay, all right, 17. Yeah, let's grab this here. 17? Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so that is that is the first one um, where you're um, dealing with the uh, beholder. So with that athletics check, you manage to shove them bodily, and they just go like end over end, spinning down, and basically it's just like bowling. They just go into the folks yeah. at the far end. And there's like there's a nice like you know, sound of bowling pins going everywhere. <laughs> One of those weird <laughs> screens comes down and shows a small telenovela and goes strike. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so that just like slams into the into the thugs back there and they're all kind of pinned in that back end of the tent because of the large beholder that's there. And um and then you, you charge towards um Amara. The athletics was to charge Amara. I didn't know that it was so that I could yeet the beholder across the room. <laughs> it's always to yeet the beholder. Move, bitch, get out the way. <laughs> so, um yeah, roll me one one more athletics please for the grapple. Madness. I still need to roll when it's a if it if it was a bonus action. See if I'm right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get it, Corbin. Get it, Corbin. Athletics, go. Ah, okay. Athletics. Does I rolled a seventeen, so eighteen. Eighteen. Um, they are gonna get a white. Hang on, two seconds. Sorry if this messes up the overlay a bit. Ah. Is that what? Yes. Haha. <laughs> Okay, ah, but that is only a 12 with the disadvantage. <laughs> Thank you, Papa. <laughs> so, um, a 12 does not beat it. So, yes, you slam into her and you might wrap your large arms. Bear hug. <laughs> around them. Um, okay, so. <laughs> um, so, come, what's your hug? Squeeze them hard enough that whatever they're holding in their hand kind of like falls reluctantly from it because that's how, like hard they're squeezing from the flex. You have enough air to speak to me. <laughs> Do it. Okay. Um, as this happens, Zakan, Anastasia, what are you doing? Anastasia's just prepping. She had shield up. She's got mage armor now. She's just like... <laughs> ready, ready. So the... Um... Nuck hands on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Nuck if you buck start playing in the background. <laughs> Feeling froggy, leap. <laughs> Anastasia's answer to anything. Hand on fire. <laughs> I'm ready, bro. <laughs> Actually, Zakan, before you decide what you do, um, your your very high yes. passive perception notices something. As, as, as Corbin tackles... Um, Amara, 
um, there is um, you know this collision, and uh, Mara's um, slammed against the side of the pavilion. It's coming like cabidons then, and um, um, there is a, a a noise on the uh, on the hard packed floor, um, a, a soft thudding um, on the uh, the loamy soil here and the the rocks that come through from the ca the cavern floor, um, as a large black crystal falls out of Amara's bag onto the ground. Can I mage hand mm. grab it? Sorry. <laughs> do it, do it. Um, okay, but you can't have mage armor if you do. This will be- Oh, the... concentration. Oh, oh, no, 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 because oh. this will be this this turn's action. So you did, oh. you did the shield, initially. I got you, I got you. You could do mage hand. I was like half joking. It's a, it's a, it's, uh, it's Steven's turn. <laughs> it's okay. We're, we're doing. We're not in initiative, as it was. I, 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 do, I do love mage handing it up. I think that's. I uh -huh. think that's very fun. Um, <laughs> um, and I, I think what Zakan does is not related to the crystal. So. Okay. What do you do, Zakan? As uh, as this hand. What does your mage hand look like, Anastasia? Uh, it looks skeletal. <laughs> it looks Excellent. like purple and blue skeleton is just goes and just <laughs> plucks it ever so gingerly. As everyone else, <laughs> like, just... as everyone else continues to play, guess the school of magic. Missile book. Right? Let's all mage hunt. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't Wait know what you're talking minute. about. Is this... These things is not like the other. We're in roll right. 20. Is this some cobalt press bullshit? <laughs> After seeing the best, my good the best celestial friends of Khan be skeletal all the time, I'm starting to think you might be touched by the goddess above. Hey, that's just age. <laughs> <laughs> is. Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> My body has been extended past its natural life. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't make me a skeleton. He's like, <laughs> um, so, so um, what did you do? <laughs> yeah, so like the, the Zents and the um the, the drow are like basically about to square off, right? Like it's it's kind of powder keg. Um it seems that mm, it's they're, they're like drawing weapons and like facing on each other, it's like tense. For the, but the, for the drow it's confusion. Because Yeah, yeah. You know, one of the one of the Zentarum has attacked. You know, the the beholders part of the Zentarum camp, clearly, mm -hmm. and one of the Zentarum guards attacks them. And it yeah. looks like, hey, comic. Um, it looks like um, the Zentarum leader, you know, Gazrim there. He he thought that this was a drow plant in their group or something. Mm -hmm. But the others, so think, um, the mm -hmm. others are just kind of falling back. Um, yeah. They're not. Uh, They're, you know, they're falling back towards that corner of the tent um, yeah. without attacking. They're just defending. I think the, the dude so think, goes uh, into the back there. Yeah. Zakan steps like sort of towards the middle, you know, in front of the drow and you know, before the Zentarum. And um, they slam down their, their Zerkwood staff and they're going to cast a, um, a non-damaging Radiance of the Dawn, you know, Channel Divinity. <laughs> okay. um, because you can oh. you can declare whether or not um, it affects it affects enemies. Okay. So not not actually hurting anyone, but it okay. is going to generate thirty feet of um, bright, blinding, golden light, and she gets the attention. Wow. Um, and uh, they're going to use their their biggest voice uh, in their small form here um, <laughs> to say that assassin is a plant and is captured and we are wasting time and just to try to get everyone to break them. are you are you thinking intimidation or persuasion intimidation okay oh it's a con come on you got this dude let me use my crystal do i have a crystal i've got an inscription on my sheet here okay let me use one of those because that was dog shit. <laughs> oh no <laughs> Hey, that's a little better. That's going to be a natural 20 for hey, total 24. If you go to folks like those phoenixes fly. <laughs> you love to hear it. Nicely done, nicely done. First 20 of the night. There it is. Hey. <laughs> okay, awesome. Um, and now everyone, don't, before you reach for those dream pies, um, that is a uh, that was a spin of the wheel, natural 20, uh, sorry, crystal there. So it is not, they are already with other <laughs> one there. Everyone. Everyone has a one at the moment, actually. I have Very two. Strange about the light here. When did oh, I get one? 
Um, oh, sorry, yeah, someone, um, yeah, I forgot who, I didn't see. No, welcome gift. It was a welcome gift, yeah, sorry, I meant to, I didn't mean to, I meant to call it out, and then I got, we got distracted by stuff. You mentioned it, but it wasn't a full-on shout-out. My bad, my bad to whoever generous soul that was. Um, if you're still there, let us know. Hang on, I could, sc I had the power of scroll. Phantom! Scroll. Our wonderful mod, Phantom. Phantom. Cheers, Phantom. Thanks, Phantom. Um, join us on Friday, you can see Phantom playing. You know our game, as we do our big um, charity game with Lord Gusamba. Um, okay, so um, <laughs> wow. Okay, natural twenty. Um, let's see here. The the drow. I mean, they're just like blinded by that much light suddenly. Mm -hmm. And the Zentarum have been down here for a while, so they're they're uncomfortable as well. Um and and they all kind of fall back and um are uh, just kind of just shielding their eyes and um seem to be cowed by your words. But Corbin, in your uh, in your arms, Amara is not affected by that. And she's screaming. She's like, no, no, do not take it back. You paid for an assassination and you'll get one. She's shouting that at Anastasia. Please. I did what now? I promise. <laughs> I'm sorry I missed. I shall make that right now. And she tries to escape um, from Corbin's grasp. Corbin, give me another athletics. Corbin. Does it help any that I now have the uh, the, the barb, the tavern brawler feet for like my grappling and stuff? Uh, what does it say on the feet? Tavern brawler. All, all I got from it is saying. Wait, is that the one that lets you make anything into a weapon? Yes. Yes. <laughs> um, accustomed to rough and tumble fighting, using whatever weapons happen to be at hand, you gain the following benefits. Increase your strength or constitution score by one. You're proficient in improvised weapons. My unarmed strike uses a d4 for damage. And you can use a bonus action to attempt to grapple the target. So even if they do get out, could I use my bonus action to try to grapple them again? Like, fight them to get them back in my grasp if, if I fail? Yeah. Just grab um, their leg. Just push. Something, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's, it's, it's a bonus action, not a reaction. So they would get a go. You know, they would get that. If they escape, they would get their turn. Um, but yes. <laughs> um, uh, so Romy, Romy, that athletics. athletics to keep my hold. Mm -hmm. gotcha. Plus one go. <laughs> yeah, okay, but what are you? Go on it. <laughs> or fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. 14. Um, they'll try and use their acrobatics to slip out of your hold. No. That is going to be a dirty 20, I'm afraid. Oh, so, even though you no. try and... Um, actually, I, I'll give you advantage, though, for your size advantage, though. Come mm. on, Corbin. Come on, Corbin. Because right, I, think, I think the Enlarged Spell gives you advantage. Okay. Yeah, that's a 16. Still the 20 heal my head, sorry. Oh, yeah. I was going against that. I, was going, I, thought, I thought we were both free rolling. I thought we were both free rolling. Fair, fair. <laughs> Very nuts. Um, okay, so yeah, even with your large arms, you're just like so holding on wiggling. strong. I think and... I got it. And then they just like <laughs> hard face mush. Um, well, then it was acrobatic, so they just slip out of your grasp. And um, she's like, I will do this, Anastasia. And just leaps forward and um, flashes out with their short sword. Um, that is going to be a hit and a hit. On me? No, this is, they're attacking the. They're still attacking the beholder. The beholder. Mm -hmm. Who you told them to kill? You paid them to kill this beholder. I... You did. There is nothing but a question mark on this bitch's face right now. <laughs> just <laughs> also, mage armor isn't concentration. I just double checked. I oh, know it, it, was, it, it, it wasn't because it was concentration. It was because you know you, you did the shield first, and then oh, because the I did shield turn, first. Okay. Yeah, the next turn was either you would do mage armor or the mage hat. Okay. All it, right. it was the second turn. I, I got you. I got you. This is getting ridiculous. Command Can you say one this? more time. Go ahead, Sagan. Sorry. 
Uh, I was just gonna say, um, with a reaction, um, could I could I still break barbs one of those attacks? Um. Sure. Yeah. It's kind of it's, 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 it's kind of it's, it's a bit late. Like it's like yeah yeah, yeah I, I already did rolled the damage and did all the damage on the token. Don't worry. The, the, oh yeah, we, we, the, we can let him go. We can the beholder's the beholder's a big meaty boy. He's not gonna die. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but um, yes, like she's just like. She just seems convinced that Anastasia has paid her to <laughs> to assassinate this this beholder. The command, <laughs> first level. Yeah, okay. Anastasia's confused. Just, just <laughs> fair, fair. Instead of a face features, it's now just a question mark. Just... Fair, fair. <laughs> yes, Kayla. Yes. So you have to make another wisdom fifteen for me. Wisdom fifteen. Okay. On. Uh... Um, Amara. Amara, yes. Mm-hmm. Wisdom, wisdom, wisdom. That's a nine. Grovel. You hear this <laughs> deep voice, and she just buckles at the knees. Love it. And she just slumps to the ground. <sighs> I've failed you. Who are you? What do you mean? You, mu- you, you must have the wrong Anastasia. You gave me the crystal in payment for destroying the Beholder. And I've the- never seen you in my life. Give, <laughs> give me a persuasion against to the Beholder. <laughs> Me oh. to the beholder? <laughs> yeah, because the beholder's turning, having heard this, and it's like large eyes glaring at you. It's like, yo, buddy, I swear. <laughs> hey, what do I have for persuasion? Uh, <laughs> negative one. Yay. <laughs> I got a 10. <laughs> you, ha- you have a crystal. Shoot. You do. First I crystal did re-roll. First, I you think. can re-roll if you wish. Bet, re-rolling. Hey, 20! <laughs> nice! Hey. Nine, 19, minus one, it's 19. So. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's enough, though. Um, so as you kind of, you know, this large um, beholder just turns, floating in the air, its baleful it's just... eye focusing on you, it's like, you did what? And you just like, I, I, I have I... never met this person. And, <laughs> but, and with that persuasion, they believe you, they're like, and they look confused. What is going on here? You know about as much as I do. I have no idea why this person is claiming that I hired them. I've been here for three days. I have no idea what they're talking about. Corbin, back to you. What do you do? Um, I've, I've been thinking that. Huh. <laughs> Did someone restrain that assassin? Oh, she I is mean, restrained. Command restrains her, so you're good. Well, no, they just they just follow the command. She's just on the ground. It's only how long is it for? It is for I believe a minute. Let me double check. It is concentration. So uh, command. It is not concentration, and the duration is. I think it's just like done. until they yep. complete the one round. Yeah. Yep. Right. You know what? Never mind. Uh, yes, restrain her. <laughs> oh, okay, Shillelagh. Like. Okay. Are you going to grapple again, or are you going to no, smack? I, <laughs> smack I, I yell shillelagh and then throw my python staff. Okay, you're oh, giant python. My python the, staff's the name python. is shillelagh. The other, other shillelagh. <laughs> my other, other shillelagh. <laughs> Indeed. Anastasia, you see um, this hooded monk throw out a snake-headed staff, and in the air it extends and grows into a giant constrictor snake. Which wraps... It's a banana python, a yellow. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> which wraps itself around Amara, and who seems to be not so um, keen to fight and resist anymore. And she slumps in its coils. Um. As a show to back up what Zakan has been doing in kind of a show of you guys are wasting our time, kind of yeah. we're the serious ones now, they walk over to Amar who was like slumped up and like take their chin up by their face and goes, you have to explain what's happening or I can't help what they do. 
and they say it like really quiet. It will look like they're being really like intimidating to them, mm -hmm. but it's like you have to tell me what the hell is happening. I'm serious, Amara. That like everyone else, it looks like they're like seething a threat into their ear or some shit. <laughs> her, her body has like gone limp, and like, has like given up, and mm -hmm. is is wrapped up in uh, in the snake, but. Her eyes are kind of wild and like darting around, like looking almost looking for an escape. But, uh, and you've seen eyes like that before mm -hmm. when yeah, you yes, I have. were on a beach on the dark lake. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, she looks exactly like Esmeralda did. Where's the crystal? They, they, they turned as a con, like nothing. Now, Anastasia, when you mage hand it over, did you grab it? It. She right. plucked it and she's just holding the mage hand is just holding. Okay, but the mage crystal. hand was holding it. Yeah. It's kind of hanging out. <laughs> it's just chilling. A, a massive, like, two and a half foot huge hand just <laughs> holding it <laughs> daintily like, between it. When they're like, where's the crystal? And then they just turned as a kind of goes, you just mm -hmm. check it. Do that thing you do when you can tell when something's <laughs> bad or stuff. I wouldn't touch that if I were you. And that goes for. All of you, um, yes, I'll have a look um, first, and then to the beholder. I can heal your injuries if you need. I will be fine, he says. Nate. And then there is a tearing, renting sound. <laughs> and a mess. Excuse me, <laughs> choked myself with that. Um, and a, a massive gash opens in the top of the pavilion. This, you know, this is a tent, a fabric tent. And mm -hmm. that gargoyle that was um, lurking at the side <laughs> of the cavern is tearing a hole through the ceiling. He's like, Omara, I love you and I will protect you. And it swoops down towards um, Shillelagh. Corbin. Oh, short sort of, of, of life steal. Like, I'm gonna do this. What the? <laughs> okay, roll to hit. Okay. Uh, <laughs> plus five. Oh, good thing I rolled a 19. Hey! hey. <laughs> to hit anyway. Let's see how much damage I actually do. <laughs> are you trying, are you the struggle. To, are you trying to wound it or subdue it? Subdue it, more likely. Like, I want to go for a wing to kind of cut off one of its wings. <laughs> okay. It's made of stone, so I so, mean... It's a wound in a subduing way. <laughs> oh, why not what's, both? What's the, okay, let, let, let's put it this way. Yes. I would like to recreate what it did to the top of this tent to one of its wings. <laughs> um, I think I think a crypt could have done that, but um, um, you... You lash out with your sword and, and, and smack into it as it's swooping down towards Amara. And it just kind of spirals out of control and crashes heavily into the ground. He's like, Amara, Amara, my love, were you not, were you not impressed by the gift I gave you, the beautiful gem? I stole it, and I stole it from those silly, the silly Quagoth, and the human. Oh, I knew it. I knew you sounded just as annoying as he did. It's whatever the heck happened to um, what's his face? They're like seriously trying to remember Fred Darren Nelson. <laughs> <laughs> like I'll just, that thing. That's what that stupid thing does. Oh yeah, yeah. It's like they're mad at the crystal more than anything else in the room. <laughs> I think to um the soldiers, like any of them nearby. What are you waiting for? Grab that gargoyle. Um yeah, these this passes for security here. There's in town thugs too. Sub <laughs> subject. It's just like, it's like, Amara, please. I love you. I've always loved you. Can I, uh, um, they, they just look over at you, Anastasia, and they're like, break it. Good enough for me. Mage Hand just goes to shatter it. <laughs> um, Mage Hand, I don't think, can do, like, physical damage. I mean, just, <laughs> no. I mean, if you uh, hold that doorknob. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you can hold the door. I know. What about, um... <laughs> <laughs> what about a guiding bolt? What about Ooh. some nice uh, radiant damage? Right, She's gonna right, hold like, it gingerly like in front of Zaka. Right, like a little shot put thing. Toss it in the air. So you can go. <laughs> Just shot. Shot put. 
<laughs> I got scorching ray. <laughs> Ew. We have multiple ways to shoot this thing. <laughs> I think I think the point is we're gonna try to break it. <laughs> who, who do the thing? <laughs> Corbett, do you have moonbeam? Do you want to double moonbeam? I do. Moon beam? Shut up, because I do. <laughs> I, oh, you want to double moonbeam this thing? <laughs> I do double moon. The, it's just gonna hold it in its palm and How just go between you two. <laughs> We're gonna be so dramatic. They're gonna they're gonna respect us so much. Oh, I'm here for the drama. Let me get myself. <laughs> Everyone, sorry, something very important just happened. Oh. Mm hmm. I'd like to reiterate Anastasia's words there. She holds it in her palm. Not my palm, May Chan's palm. Oh. May Chan's palm. Oh. <laughs> Not my palm! Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> the May Chan just goes and turns so that it's in its palm and goes forward to you two. As... I, I have to don't touch that thing! As it's your first <laughs> session. <laughs> I shall... <laughs> I was so excited. You guys are pronunciating it, man. I'm so excited. And just like that, the magic is gone. Thank you for joining us, everyone. Really appreciate it. I think it's a great time. Bye. I think, in, oh, a in a manner yeah. of speaking, it is your palm, your Mei Chan's palm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. Okay. If mage... you want to DM switch that, you can. <laughs> so I, I think um, our uh, Zentarum negotiator steps back. With his uh, friends over here, also draws a blade on the on the gargoyle. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, wait. So, uh, are, are are we actually? Done? So I, I, I am casting. <laughs> I'm ready to double moonbeam all the way. Sacred flame at it. <laughs> there's all these attacks suddenly. Right. I've only got fire, and there's too many of you in here. <laughs> appreciated. That's so appreciated. <laughs> um, so Moonbeam is a saving throw, isn't it? Yeah. Does the crystal make a saving? <laughs> I know. Zaka, how about yours? Um, Sacred Flame is a dexterity saving throw. Okay. So, all of you cast your magics, and the beams of light again the drow like call out in consternation as uh, Elastray's <laughs> moon beams yeah, fair, 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 fair. come <laughs> down and um Zakan casts their holy flame and nothing happens all right well dealing with something a lot more powerful then Oh, hells. <laughs> I think that's exactly the case. I believe that we're looking at an artifact from the demon lord Frazar Blue and the source of much of the trouble we've been encountering here. Anastasia, how do you react to that? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Accurate. <laughs> The mage head is going to noticeably curl, just <laughs> almost as much emotion as a hand can have, <laughs> just anger. <laughs> Corbin, you remember reading in all of those books. Actually, I think I think a little voice pipes up. Um, Corbin. Copy! Don't ignore me! We haven't spoken in so long! <laughs> Copy! Nope, nope, you're not hurting my heart with your tiny heart. <laughs> <laughs> and you hear the voice of the book from the monastery. <laughs> oh. I don't know if you're a demon or not. I'm trying to not. What? Not? Not. Good. I'll let them in. What? <laughs> it's... It's one of those items It's clearly resistant to magic, but... Just... Just... Just smash it with a magic weapon. 
Can we hear this? <laughs> um, I, th I think it's telepathic. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I was about to say, I couldn't remember if it was at all. I could hear it. Yeah, I think it's um, telepathic. Uh, magic weapon. I have... Oh, I have so many of them! Okay, okay. <laughs> And this thing is just poking it with her bow staff, just... Like <laughs> stupid little... <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> There's a lot of animosity towards that single gem. What that gem do to make them so mad? <laughs> <laughs> Any fans of the Dark Crystal in here? <laughs> oh, it's been a hot minute. <laughs> that was, same thing, the, the, my short sort of life steal in the magic. Okay, make an attack. Watch out. Was I allowed to pick magic weapons? I didn't pick any. I'm gonna All right. Find, find plus this, five uh, book makes you. this a 20, a dirty 20, because it was 15 plus five. Nice. Which means it does Ooh. necromantic shit too. But I don't think that, that doesn't matter because it's resistant to magic. I just... <laughs> I wanted to state when it finally happened. It's been I've been trying to get <laughs> true, this true, true. so long. Um, so sorry, what what happens on a natural twenty? Oh, is, is, it, um, is it just a natural twenty, isn't it? No, sorry, I'm clicking it. For doop, 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 doop. when you attack the creature when, uh, with this magic weapon and roll a twenty on the attack roll, the target takes an extra ten necrotic damage if it isn't a construct or an undead, and you gain ten temporary hit points from it. But it's a crystal. Yeah, um, but also I think it, it means when you when you crit, when you roll a crit, yeah. yeah, yeah. I rolled I rolled a uh, fifteen plus mm -hmm. five, which was a not yeah. a natural, just twenty. Yeah. And and trust me, this is the better of the two options. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh yeah, no problem. To... I just it's the first time I've ever gotten a twenty even yeah, close right? with this with yeah, this yeah. sword. You do not want to siphon stuff from this crystal. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so all of you just see um, Corbin just kind of like ruffle through a book for a moment spin and just bring in a almost like everything just like goes slow motion and the swing just comes over the sword arcing through the air slamming into the crystal balanced on top of the mage hand's palm and, <laughs> and as the blade hits it with its ac of 10 and single hp the crystal shatters but it's like the outer surface of the crystal was clear glass and the fathomless pitch dark of the coloration of the crystal was something inside it. And suddenly a, gusher. a wind starts to swirl and whirl around the pavilion. The walls of the tent and the flaps of the doorway start to rustle and flap angrily in the wind and there is a ungodly howling sound and i'm just starting gets... to regret this <laughs> <laughs> just... <laughs> as calm as ever just a, you know i'm starting to regret listening to you book <laughs> you might be a demon you might be a demon <laughs> and as the essence of the demon lord Frazar Blue himself is released Fuck. from the gem. It yowls and as this darkness expands and swirls around the room everyone like tenses up but nothing seems to happen except for Anastasia. <laughs> you are encircled by the coils of this dark essence and lifted up hanging in the air of the pavilion and a voice in your mind I know what you did I know what you stole but rest easy in your fragile mind Wizard, I have other things to pay back. I'm so glad DM Charlie's in the chat here. I 
was trapped in that gem. And she thinks she can hide in the Feywilds. <laughs> Iguilv, I am coming for you. And the essence just roars angrily around the tent and streams out of all of the doorways. And you see as the doors get blown back, a crowd of raiders, Zentarim and Drow, wondering what's going on in the tent as the Mandy comes raiding in with a big old raid. Welcome in, raiders. How are you doing? Ah. <laughs> so wrapped up in the moment there. Hi, as Anastasia was wrapped up in Demon Lord. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, Anastasia, Frazar Blue, who unfortunately had got themselves trapped in this mortal form here, in this mortal vessel, shall we say. But not by you, and not related to you. They have bigger fish to fry right now. So, Charlie, I hope Charlie over there in chat is looking forward to Wild Beyond the Witchlights on Friday now that Gratz and Frazar Blue are now looking for Igwilf, a.k.a. Ah. Zivilna, the Archfey, in charge of the Domain of Delight that they find themselves in as they travel towards Zabilna's palace. <laughs> we shall see oh, no. <laughs> what happens there. But, as the essence streams out of the pavilion and roars off angrily into the Underdark, seeking revenge on another plane, we are going to leave the Underdark as well for a week. A massive thank you to all of these lovely players. A massive thank you to all of you over there in chat. Raiders, thank you so much for coming by. I hope you had a fantastic session yourselves. We have a giveaway, which you are just in time to jump into. Exclamation mark, enter in chat if you would like the chance to win the fantastic Forgotten Citadel from CZRPG. A one-shot or drop-in location for your campaigns. Everyone, please, please write exclamation mark, enter in chat for your chance to win. Um, today's giveaway and we shall see who our lucky winner is you can't enter your own streams giveaway <laughs> <laughs> sorry <laughs> you're welcome into any of the streams but not your own <laughs> yeah. um, as we shall see who our lucky winner is but yes as small board Lex <laughs> has, has demonstrated there exclamation mark enter please um, if you would like the chance to win all right okay so we shall draw the winner in just a moment after we've said goodbye to these fine people here Thank you so much, Lexi, for joining us. An absolute pleasure. <laughs> and welcome in. <laughs> um, this is quite, this is how we do in the Underdark. <laughs> I, hope you, uh, I hope you had a good session. And uh, look oh, forward that's... to having you in the campaign here. And let us head around um, in that direction. Anastasia, who are you on the material plane? Hello, hello. I am Smallbird Lex. You can find me at Smallbird Lex and Smallbird Art. I do D&D cosplay art stuff um uh, i will be your cup of tea the every time i say it it sounds like a threat and it's it's just more and more true every time uh <laughs> yes indeed links. check me on all those yep links in the chat there if you want to follow yep. us of all of uh, lexi's awesome stuff um everyone jump into that giveaway there kalo how about your good stuff hello friends i am xl kalo uh thank you for joining us tonight i appreciate you all coming in uh, i'm here and I'm also here on Sundays with the Hunger of a Thring crew. Find me in some stream chatting or playing. Love you all. See you soon. Thank you, Kylie. Zaka. Hi, I'm <laughs> unmuted now. Hey, <laughs> I'm Steven. I played Zakan. Um, I don't play in any other streams or online things, but if you want to find me on Twitter, I'm at Distant Shores. And uh, I just started up a newsletter about Japan's uh, natural, historic, poetic micro-seasons things, if you yeah. want to check it out there, too. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Yep, um, link over there um, in the chat. And uh, last but not least, Corbin. I thought I was muted on one thing, but I wasn't. I was <laughs> muted on the other. Hi, everybody. I'm Corbin, but in the IRL world, I'm a buns, and normally you can find me on Twitter at Honey Buns talking and ranting at Marvel and how they have no idea how to do anything with their teenage lineup. <laughs> or 
You can find me on my Twitch, desperately trying to have a cult not turn into a basically dystopian utopia in which we have police reform and free health care. Haha. <laughs> Once I get the Switch uh, thing set up, I'm going to be getting it put so that if you join my stream, you can be one of my cult members and I will name them after you. And together we will destroy all of the elder gods and show them who should really be in charge. Yes. But you know, in a cozy way. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome, awesome. Thank you. Okay, last <laughs> chance, everyone. We are going to draw our giveaway winner after this. So, exclamation mark, enter in chat if you want the chance to win there. I am John, and we are Felix Iwaki, and we'll be back throughout the week here. Join us later today for me, first thing tomorrow, if you're on that side of the world, for Barovia and beyond as they continue through the corrupted carnival of the Revalia, the domain of dread there in Ravenloft. And then, as I said, we'll be back with Wild Beyond the Witchlight uh, Thursday night or Friday morning, depending where you are. And we shall see if there's any fallout from Demon Lords, plural, <laughs> having their eyes set on finding the Archfey in charge of the Prismia realm. And then we'll be back um, with the fabulous folks from Candlekeep Mysteries Friday night or Saturday morning. And we also see you for that but also a very special shout out and um, call out for um, the chance to join us for something rather special as this is going to be too big isn't it yes <laughs> um, let me just match this up here folks um, we are very very honoured to be part of the Greyhawk Megastream fundraiser legends for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital starting on Friday. We are the opening session as I am joined by some very special guests, but there are sessions all through the weekend. All of our friends here that you can see on screen will be doing their own streams on their own channels, raising money for this fantastic, fantastic charity. If you are able, please join us and donate towards this awesome cause. And there is an amazing giveaway. Lord Gusamba always gets these incredible giveaways for their um, streams. And uh, you have the chance to win in that if you are in the um, donations there. And um, speaking of those special guests, let me bring up one more of these, which isn't too big. Hooray! Um, do join myself GMing these wonderful folks as we are joined by the fabulous Dead Aussie Gamer, our friend Marin from Ravenloft, and the incredible YouTuber How to Be a Great GM, Guy Sklanders, as well as our friend Patch from Quest Junkies UK and our mod extraordinaire Phantom as well, as we play in the world of Greyhawk, the original Gygax created world of Greyhawk, a game of blades in the dark, not D&D. &D. So please join us and if you're able to give and donate, there will be the chance to influence play and see just what this crew have in store for their heist in Blades in the Dark. They will be going up against the Night Merchants, the macabre organizations that gather the bodies and cadavers from the streets of Raven's Rook and are rumored to be dabbling in some sort of necromancy. But it is worth the risk as they have come into possession of some very powerful magical items that are on one of these dead bodies. And our crew of heisters here are seizing on the opportunity to stealth into the headquarters of the night merchants and try and grab it for themselves. Will they be successful? Will they escape with a fantastic heist? Or will it all go terribly, terribly wrong? <laughs> please join us to find out. And as I said, if able, please donate to the fantastic cause. It's going to be amazing. That is at 8 a.m. Friday on um, Eastern Time, um, or wherever the equivalent is in your part of the world. And I cannot wait for that. It's going to be amazing. So, awesome awesome stuff thank you all so much um for joining us today thank you for the follows and the subs and the bits and the raids absolutely legendary as always thank you so much uh, like that thank you Lugrim, <laughs> um for a uh, for a follow there um closing in on 1900 followers it's just incredible thank you so much awesome awesome stuff and let us thank one of you in a much more <laughs> um, physical way. Um, well, I say physical way, electronic way, I guess, uh, as we're sending the PDF over. But, um, hey, back over my night. Um, we are going to draw our lucky winner here. Let me do a quick refresh, make sure everyone is in there. Good luck, everybody. So today's copy of The Forgotten Citadel from CZRPG is going to... Refresh, 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 refresh. 
<laughs> Close. Drum roll. Okay, good luck everyone. Today's winner is... Da -da 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 -da. OG Lava Kitten! Kitten, congratulations! I know they're in chapter yes. four. Okay, we should be heading that your general direction very, very soon. Okay, thank you everyone, congratulations, and we will see you all again very, very soon. Now, my friends, we are going to head off for a raising. Raising? Raiding. Um, let's just see if any of our friends are on. None of our stream team are on at the moment. But, let's see here. <laughs> okay, this is apt. Speaking of a heist that we are doing with our Blades in the Dark game on Friday, let us go and raid into Insomnia Night RPG, who are running the first ever campaign that I ever DM'd with Zakan, uh, Stephen, as a player. They are running Dragon Heist. If you very want to fun, have a, a call back to an old heisty adventure from uh, from Wizards there. Um, yeah, probably to uh, mark the release of the upcoming Golden Vault stuff that they've got coming up. Okay, so let us stick around for that raid, my friends. And if you've got them, let those phoenixes fly. Let them know where you came from. And we look forward to seeing you all again very, very soon. But that is all for today. Stick around for that raid if you've got them. Let those phoenixes fly. But till next time, as we like to say around these parts, Oyasumi Nasai. Oyasumi! Oyasumi! Bye! A massive thank you for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed that session. And let us also say thank you to the wonderful folks who support the channel. CZRPG, Phoenix Dice, Troll Lord Games, and of course the fabulous Sirenscape. If you would like to check them out, follow the links in chat and, of course, jump on those tasty, tasty coupons if you want to get some discounts on awesome things for your games. CZRPG is a constant source of inspiration with their fantastic products, interestingly written, beautiful maps, dynamic encounter design, original monsters and magic items, do join their newsletter for all of the information about what's going on with them. And of course, where would we be without those gorgeous click clack math rocks from Phoenix Dice? An amazing producer of interesting designs, guaranteed to roll well for players, not so well for GMs sometimes, but <laughs> that's the way we play. Now, if you would like to support this amazing company, with their recycled materials and very eco-friendly way of doing business, do give them a click and look at all of the beautiful, beautiful dice that they have over in their store. Troll Lord Games, all of our friends over there, they have their own original Castles and Crusades system, lots of stuff for D&D &D and all sorts of amazing TTRPG stuff in their store. Click on that link and get your adventure underway. And of course, Last but not least, by any measure you care to employ, Sirenscape, a fantastic source of music and sound effects that just takes your game to a new level. Fantasy, science fiction, mystery, heists, whatever type of game you're playing, whatever system you're playing, Sirenscape has the sounds for you. And you can pipe that all over the world to wherever your players are through their online player and if you would like to, you can get yourself a free trial by following the link. And if you become a Super Siren, you can get access to all of their hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of options, make your own original sound sets, and support us too via our affiliate link there in chat. Okay, that's all for today. Another massive thank you, and we look forward to seeing you all very, very soon. Stick around for the raid if you've got them, let those phoenixes fly. But till next time, as we like to say around these parts, always see you in a second.